Hello and welcome to this lymphatic flow yoga presentation. My name is Babs. I am doing this for Matt at Lymph United. He's one of my good friends that I met through the lymphedema community. Um, and so we decided to put this um, collaboration together to provide this tool and um, and to share this with his community. So he unfortunately can't be here today because um, he had a relative pass away. So we're sending him a ton of energy and love. And um, I've been sending him ever since I found out a lot of energy and light to him and to others who have passed. Um, but but I'm here and I want to share with you this practice and I hope that it connects you. And I hope that if you weren't in the live class, that um, you're watching this and can connect with it and feel better. So I will just briefly show you the four components of our practice and then we'll take it away through um, a chair practice. So the first component of lymphatic yoga is breathing. So in every yoga class, I'm sure you're going to do some breath work, some type of um, paying attention to the breath, noticing where you feel it mentally, physically, and actually learning to control the breath. So through controlling our breath, we're then able to connect better mentally and physically. We can improve our lymphatic drainage, our lymphatic flow in the center of our body by increasing this abdominal breathing, this belly breath, this so that the diaphragm gets engaged. So as you breathe in, the diaphragm starts to sit down into the rib cage. Then as you breathe out, that diaphragm comes up and into the rib cage massaging the internal organs in there, massaging that thoracic duct, improving lymph flow and almost acting as a vacuum to bring it back up to the heart. So um, intentional breathing is key. So really learning to be able to breathe with some big, large movement in the center of your body versus tightening up and clenching through secondary muscles here. So breathing is number one. So in our practice, I will go through this, but you can kind of keep in your mind that um, as you inhale, you're going to allow the abdomen to protrude outward. And as you exhale, slowly release everything back to center. So you can also add your hands to give a little resistance too, if that felt good. Sometimes I even massage into my hips and my inguinal area as I'm doing it, just to help to kind of shift and move things around and promote drainage and digestional movement. So that's breathing. Number one is breathing. Two is self-manual lymph drainage. So before every lymphatic yoga practice, I teach manual lymph drainage. So it's a set, um, a sequence of movements. So we start at the chest, we go to the neck, back to the chest, to the shoulders and armpits, and then back to the chest. And then I often add in um, some axillary pumps, some hip inguinal, some inner elbow um, under the knee. So depending on the class, we do a little bit more depending on the people coming to the class too. So um, what this is doing is helping the fluid to move, to drain, to encourage, to clear out. So in your body, you have around 700 or so lymph nodes. I've seen 600, I've seen 800. So I'm just going to say 700, but um, a majority here is your neck, your chest and your abdomen. So with number one and two, the breathing and the self-manual lymph drainage, we help to clear the fluid here in the center of the body so that when we do our yoga, when we move and get some muscular activation, this is clear and ready to accept that fluid. Um, and with our, always make sure your hands are touching your body. So the biggest part of this manual lymph drainage is getting that skin traction, that skin stretching, because that skin stretching and release is what allows for the little valves and on the vessels to open so that the fluid can encourage and can be pumped out. So that like stretching of the skin has this intrinsic contractibility of the lymph angion in between or in the vessel. And when that pumps, it kind of pushes through. So you really want to get that skin movement. I know in some of my videos, I've put like a little piece of tape or something, then you can like, what? well, you can see my sweater right there. Um, or on a freckle, find a freckle and kind of pump and see if you're getting that skin stretch or if you're just kind of sliding over. So, um, but 
you'll get better at it if you feel like, oh no, am I doing it wrong? Don't worry. You'll you probably are doing it absolutely fine. Um, so this is kind of just the protocol I just said. Three is our actual yoga practice, so our movement practice. So helping the body through gravity, improving lymphatic flow through lifting our arms, our limbs up, um, using gravity and muscle contraction to pump through, um, using a sense of just a body awareness as we flow through and using our breath to kind of match when we open and close. So this muscle pump of all the muscles in our body helps to encourage that fluid movement as well. And if we do it in a rhythmic kind of way that opens the heart as, and then we come in, we kind of get that pumping action to move everything through, which is pretty cool. And so that's what we'll do. So that's what I won't go through a full practice because that will be at the end of this presentation. But um, one more thing I wanted to add on here is that the most important part I would say about all of these components, the fourth component that I didn't just show you was mindfulness. And I strongly believe if you can understand where the pathways are, where maybe you're feeling some swelling in the body, where you're feeling some stuck energy, some tightness, some pain, then you're able to listen better and respond better. So mindfulness is is huge in all of our practices and probably in, in all the well-being practices you do, but just to connect to your body and free up space for more love and more light. And that's probably the most important part um, for any type of healing, for lymph flow, for any kind of flow. Um, but just know that that's also a huge component. So all right, so let's get into a comfortable seat and let's begin. Oh, and grab a dish towel and one or two tennis balls too. Okay, see you there. So make sure to have your dish towel and either one or two tennis balls or a lacrosse ball or whatever ball and just place it off to the side. And then we're just going to close our eyes and find a comfortable seat. And I'd like us all just to begin this lymphatic flow chair practice by setting an intention. So let's place our hands over the heart. And I'll encourage you all just to dedicate this practice to someone. So if you have someone in mind, if there's someone that could use a little of your energy, just think about them. Notice how that makes you feel just as a way to connect with the sensations of your body, with the thought of giving someone else love and kindness. And then take a moment to set an intention on clearing our energy to better be released and relaxed and more balanced through our lymph system and our energetic bodies. And then release the hands down and then place the hands, palms facing down on the knees, and then take a slow breath in through the nose. And then exhale, blow all the air out. Inhale to fill the body with air. Exhale, release. And then place the hands to the belly as a little resistance as you inhale. Give a little push, push, push to the belly as you rise with the breath. And then exhale, let everything melt and release. Two more like that. Breathe in. And out. Breathe in. Give a little pressure. And breathe out. And then rock yourself forward so you come to it. I'll make more upright position. Relax your hands down, relax the shoulders down and close your eyes. And then we'll inhale for a count of two. Hold for a count of two. Exhale for a count of four. Two, two, four. Feeling the belly rise and fall with each breath. Noticing how this cleanses and clears the mind and body. 
notice how any tension or weight or sadness in your body can melt away. Notice the control we have to manipulate our breath. Notice the control we have to monitor and balance our breath. And then inhale, reach your arms up on your next breath in, stretch up. Hands come down through heart center and place the hands to the heart to relax the shoulders. Breathe in and out. Release the hands down. And then we're gonna begin our manual lymph drainage of the chest and neck before we do some opening through the body. So take your hands across the chest and then five half circles in towards the neck, stretching the skin making skin to skin contact nice and then coming to the neck stretching the skin back and down just about five to ten times in each area just awakening the lymphatic system getting everything moving and then back to the chest either one hand at a time or both hands And then over to the shoulders, stretch the shoulders as the elbows pump. So this is just our little lymphatic warm up that we do before our practice, good. And then release the hands down, sink the back towards the back of the chair so you can allow some room for the pelvic and inguinal lymph node massage. So we're gonna take our pinkies towards the hips and just pump in towards the belly button maybe going all the way around the hips too. Maybe you lean forward and give the low back a little massage. So feel free to move your hands about and be intuitive about what feels good. And then we'll sit up nice and tall and then we'll come behind one knee, hands to the knee, thumbs on top of the patella and you're just scooping the back of the knee. So you're kind of coming in and back towards yourself and just breathing almost like you're kind of like rolling it back. And then come to the other side, just giving yourself a little massage here. And then dropping the foot down, inhale, lifting the arms up. Exhale, hands come down through heart center and pause. Hands to the thighs, to the knees, relax the shoulders down. And then we're gonna inhale to sweep the left arm forward, thumb facing up towards the sky. And then inhale, just opening that arm out towards the left. And then exhale, slowly just bringing it back to center. So inhale, you open your heart up towards one side. If you have enough room, you can even go all the way to twist. So just a few more times. If the arm gets tired, just work on kind of opening up through the torso. Take two more times, big breath in to open. Exhale, center, breath in to open. And exhale, center, release the hands. That's getting that trunk rotation, which basically massages and activates all the lymph nodes, the lymph vessels to kind of pump out. So let's try it on the other side, so right hand. Scooch to the edge so you have more room. Inhale to open up. Exhale, thumb facing up comes to center. Inhale, exhale. Nice, three more, big breath in and out. Big breath in and out, one more. And then releasing the hand down, roll the shoulders up, back and down to find some chest opening, chest clearing, nice. And then release the arms down by your sides. And we're gonna inhale, reach the arms up so that the thumbs connect overhead. So look up and see the thumbs connect. And then exhale, bring the arms all the way back down. Good, inhale, palms facing forward as the arms lift, thumbs connect. And then exhale, slowly everything, nice. One more time, big breath in. And out. Nice, and then release down, good, take a breath. Place one hand over the heart, one on the low abdomen. 
Connect with your energy now, just from a few moments of moving, of breathing, of doing self-massage. I do feel a release and I hope you do too. Let's take a breath in to reach the arms up. Exhale, hands come to the thighs and then we're gonna grab for our dish towel. So we're gonna take it underneath the right leg. So you're gonna hold on to the tops of the towel and then you're gonna sit up nice and tall and just without, without coming deep into the pelvis like this, just stay up nice and tall and bring your knee up so that you just lift the arms up with it. And then slowly start to make some nice big circles. So maybe just kind of pulling it up and in when it comes up and then relaxing it back down. You can also do this with just the hands along the knee too but keep with that nice, strong, straight spine. Nice. And then with the hands onto the strap, we're gonna inhale to straighten that right leg, flex the toes back towards the face, and then exhale, point the toes as you drop the toes to the earth. So inhale, sit up nice and tall, broaden through the chest, Exhale, dropping it down. One more time, breathe in and out. And then drop that foot down, come onto the toes of the right foot. Inhale, lift the arms up and then see if you can exhale to lift that right leg up, flex the toes back and then release everything down. Nice, and then we'll go to the other side. So hands to the towel along that left thigh and you can find some movement here into the hip, maybe some softness through the jaw and the shoulders. Using your arms to kind of guide that leg up and in, or you can just use your hands, maybe switch the circle, but again, finding that heart open and proud. And then placing the hands back to the towel, we'll inhale to stretch that leg forward, flex the toes back, and then exhale, point the toes as you bring the toes down. Two more, inhale, lengthen. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, then drop it down, release the towel, and then we're just gonna tap out the legs. So tap out the inner thighs, the tops of the thighs, the outer thighs. You can come up to the low belly, tap, tap, tap here. Side body, side ribs. Down the legs, tap, tap, tap to the feet, inner feet, outer. <laughs> All along the legs, come to the back. Then come up to the chest, tap, tap, tap to the side ribs, to the elbows, to the armpits, to the arms. Find the tapping and then come to the heart, cross the hands, find the tapping here. And then make your way up to the top of the head, back of the head, back of the neck, to the collarbones. Just this tap, 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 awakening, grounding every area in the body. Continue this around the face, around the jaw, the ears, and then let everything melt. Hands come into the lap. Let yourself be still for a moment. Notice how you feel. Take a breath in. Sigh it out. <sighs> One more time, breath in. And out. And then we're gonna take one tennis ball over towards our left foot. And tennis ball, lacrosse ball, golf ball, um, apple maybe, <laughs> whatever you can find. And so we're gonna start with the left top of the toes, so that big toe, and we're just gonna place the ball right underneath that area, and then just lean forward slightly so that the foot kind of drapes around the ball, the heel just melts. And then you can start to explore. So you might wanna start with some circles underneath the foot. Maybe you come to then the second and third toe. So each area on the foot there's a reflexology map that shows every part of the foot connected to the brain. So if there's any area that feels tender or feels tight, then that area may be something that's affected in your body. So um, for instance, right underneath the big toe, 
is the stomach area and for me that's always tender um so kind of notice where you feel your foot maybe giving you a little resistance or um or notice where it feels good where you want to massage and then maybe keep that um in your mind to maybe look up later or talk to someone about and then coming down towards the center of the foot and if any of this hurts too don't do it but just allow it to feel good so go gentle and then coming to the heel a little bit and then just on the toes so stretching the toes out and then dropping the foot down close the eyes sit up nice and tall and just notice how the left side feels compared to the right for me the left side feels a little bit more lifted it's a bit lighter so just notice and then we'll move to the other side so bring the ball underneath the right big toe just melt the foot over for a moment get your bearings and then notice the pressure if you back off a little if you lean over a little how does it feel and then make your way to the center of the foot and just notice and allow this just to feel good Maybe making a circular motion or an up and down and then coming up to the heel and then stretch the toes around take a breath in and exhale Whoop, as my ball runs away from me <laughs> good and then release the ball release the foot down take a moment release the hands close your eyes and then we'll take a moment just to improve full body lymph flow activation and then we'll end with a meditation. So we're gonna inhale to reach our arms up. Exhale, we're gonna slide our hands down as we lean our chest and our heart forward. And then inhale, reach up. As you do this, you're gonna lift up onto the toes as everything lifts. And then exhale, ground down through the heels, lift the toes up and pull the arms back. Three more, inhale, everything lifts, come onto the tippy toes, stretch the fingers, and then drop the heels down, lift the toes, stretch the triceps back. Inhale, big breath in. Exhale, big breath out. Last one, you can do it, breathe in. And out, nice. And then come back to center, hands to the heart, pause. And then we'll slowly begin to find a comfortable position resting in our chairs. So for a few moments, we're just gonna find some stillness together. So get cozy and just rest into a nice supported seat. And then I wanna come back to our intention of this practice. So. We all came here to improve the health and well being of ourselves. So keep that intention not only for when you enter a yoga class, but allow it to be the intention for your life to do everything in intention for your own health and well being. So, starting to make the right choices, whether it's with food, people you spend time with with activities that fill you up. Just notice if you can set the intention for more health and well-being in those choices. And then place your hands over your heart. Come back to the person you dedicated this practice to. Let them feel the energy, the love that you have and let that energy come back 10 times stronger into your heart, mind, soul physical body. Allow your lymph fl fluid to move freely through you, removing any blockages, any stuck flow, and just allow you to feel balanced and fluid energy. Release the hands down, and then we'll inhale, sweep the arms up for the last time together. Palms connect and thumbs come to our third eye chakra, connecting mind to body. That's right in between your eyebrows. Give this area a little massage with your knuckles and then drop the thumbs down to the heart. Give your sternum a little massage. 
check in with your heart and then we can bow to one another to share our gratitude for one another. Thank you so much for practicing with me and for being here and thank you very much.